yes it is possible for you to pay your tuition but you need to hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl we need all here again back with another video so this video is going to be talking about being able to pay your tuition in the uk as an international student how possible it is how realistic it is i mean like people talk about it being realistic and some people are like no it's not realistic i'm going to show you my own story on how i was able to you know pay my school fees yes. okay it was it is juicy so if this is something definitely you want to wear definitely stay tuned and i'll spill all the tea that you going to first things first you need to bear in mind as to whether you can pay your school fees while studying being an international student with the 20 hours work restriction now that is quite possible but there are some things you need to bear in mind while applying for the school is the tuition make sure you don't have a 25,000 pounds school fees 20,000 pounds school fees to me that is suicide like thinking you're gonna come here and work part-time and be able to pay it in my opinion is suicide that's a lot of money that you need to cover my tuition fee minus my scholarship i got was 11,000 I still had 11,000 to pay but on arrival you're supposed to pay a deposit of 2,000 which left me with about 9,000 now once I arrived the UK I was supposed to receive the um, first half of my tuition but something happened along the line and I couldn't get it and I needed to pay that school fees but luckily for me God intervened my school for some reason I don't know how but like they went they didn't they didn't you know disturb me on resumption about like my tuition like immediately after I resumed so I had some time to settle but now I, I made a video on your requirements coming to the UK um, things you need to do before getting a job I wish I knew all those things I shared in that video if you've not seen that video definitely like I'll link it somewhere um, up here or in the description box check out that video it had like i put a lot of tips into it like i just poured out my heart i didn't even write notes i just said it as it was i said it as it is if i knew the things i said in those videos as soon as i was arriving i think i would have started working sooner so it was such a pressure for me as soon as i arrived because i was like my goodness i needed to pay like the 50 percent and something happened uh, the money could not come through as it was planned so i was like what's gonna be of my situation so I had to like start thinking fast and I had to like I think I had how much nine thousand pounds left nine thousand pounds left to pay at that time so I needed to think fast so half of nine thousand was four thousand five hundred sure to target jobs that were paying well so I didn't go for jobs that were paying minimum wages so first thing know the budgets know how much your school fees is nine thousand pounds wasn't a lot for me to cover myself but if you are going to be paying 20 25 thousand pounds you need to be thinking again because with 20 hours per week wow that means the job you are paying has to be paying you maybe like 50 pounds per hour <laughs> something because really you're in for something so um check the job um, check this course you're applying for the university also check the city you're applying to that like what city you're going to be living in and some cities are even more expensive than london yes. investigate because i've had to walk outside of london before like for i've got taking some shifts out and forget accommodation transportation yes. it's not a joke -o. so do your due diligence find out very well about the city cambridge is a nice city so if you have university there you can't go there check out the cost of living in the city make sure you ask questions concerning that and also check out the school fees of the university you are applying for now once you have applied for the university and you have come the jobs you should be targeting are not jobs that are child's play which is why you should have done your due diligence of going on indeed i shared all of that in the last video i made go on indeed do your like check the jobs uh, put your likely postcode because indeed will ask you your postcode and streamline your search to your area where you live 
to put your likely post school where you'll be living and begin to see the requirements for the jobs and see how you can meet up so that as soon as you arrive, as soon as you're landing, you get your NI, you get your BRP, get your DBS, these three important documents. But yeah, start all the online training, start all your jobs search and within a week, two weeks, you get into the system because you're trying to gather that money. You have you don't have time to be counting time, to be checking time. Now the first deposit, the first half, because my university required the first half, you might not be able to make it obviously because you're supposed to pay it before registration into the school, which by God's grace, I mercy spoke for me. Grace covered me and for some reason my school did not ask for it as at the first month. So I had time to settle in, get a job. I start, you know, helping myself and my destiny to gather it. But yes, I was able to raise it for a period of time. I can't really remember exactly at what point because as I as I would raise some, I would pay. As I would raise them, I'll pay. So I can't say okay within this so so, so period I raised the whole money, but I know that before my course was over, I was able to finish paying the money. Now the goal is get jobs that are not paying minimum wage you cannot afford to be any minimum wage and be expecting to be able to hit that target i don't know it's only Holy spirit that can help can help you in that situation so try and look for healthcare jobs healthcare jobs tend to pay more then i had all these um what's it called warehouse jobs yeah warehouse jobs also they say pay more but i've always been very scared of warehouse like the fact that they say they lift heavy things and stuff like that i might have the strength to do it a day or two but after that listen i don't want to break down so if there's an easy option with almost the same amount of money if not more why not so i never really explored um warehouse jobs so definitely check retail jobs tend to pay minimum wage mostly you know, minimum wage at least target 10 pounds and above and above because that would be now getting a job might be a bit tricky but if you do your due diligence you might not find stress most jobs are looking for people with experience those that are minimum wage are the ones that they'll tell you oh you don't need experience we'll train you blah 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 blah, blah. those ones are very easy to come by but the ones that are paying a bit higher they require a bit of experience that you already have a bit of experience so your experience for care job can just be like you've taken care of your grandparents, you've taken care of your mom, you've taken care of your siblings, you've taken care of your auntie's children. Those also count as experience. So don't go and double yourself. When I first started my job applications, I used to say, oh no, I don't have experience in care. I used to work in the hospital shower, but I didn't have experience in care. Huh. My, when my eyes open that, I take care of my children, my siblings. My auntie children that I was back in all those years, I take care of them. I have experience. So I started adding that to my experience and it boosted my chances of getting even better paying jobs. So apply for the school that the, the school fees is listen, if you can get less than ten thousand, that's fine. But highest you should be looking at is twelve thousand pounds that you are looking at okay, you will drag yourself from my own calculation when I did it in my head. You can drag yourself, being able to ask for extension from your university, just keep asking for extension a lot. Kept on applying to them to ask for extension. So they kept on like trying to renew my payment plan so that I could like have time to raise the money and make the payment. So if your school is a school that you could also negotiate with, definitely explore that option of negotiating with them to give you more time to be able to pay the tuition fee even while you're going to school. Now my school schedule was really flexible was really easy for me that was another reason so if you're coming to a school where you'll be going to school five days a week i don't think this can work for you so another thing to pay attention to is your school timetable how many days a week would you be required to attend classes how often do you have assessments class assessments coursework to do check it how hectic is your class schedule you should also bear that in mind while you're coming and having in mind to pay yes it is possible for you to pay your tuition but you view things into perspective and make sure that these things are sure before you try and embark on such a journey it wasn't exactly an inten intentional journey for me to start paying but once things had gotten out of hand and i really needed to come through for myself the dollar rate was not funny the pounds rate to the naira was crazy so try and get a high paying job so imagine getting a job where you are being paid say 
15 pounds 13 15 pounds an hour and you have to work 20 hours a week do the mathematics that you get exactly because sometimes you might not be able to get up to 20 hours that's where the challenge is so you have to look for that's why i prefer working with companies so when i register with a company and i tell them i'm working 20 hours i'm going to get definitely 20 hours but when you register with an agency some days you will get 10 hours some weeks you will get um, 15 hours some weeks you will get three hours it just depends on when the shift is available so i prefer working for the companies directly because i know my shift is short and i know that what I'm collecting that week or that month, depending on their payroll, is what I'm getting. I am sure. Well, really, just by God's grace, always pray. Like I always say, prayer, prayer, prayer. God will direct your steps to the right people, to the right companies, right managers. Those things are very important. People that are understanding, that understand your schedule, you know, so you don't overwork yourself. You don't have to work like Jackie. Do you understand? And still be schooling. So also consider your school timetable your school schedule consider the tuition you're going to be paying the hefty amount of tuition you're going to be paying listen if it's too much it's suicide about about mission <laughs> winnie says about mission okay Please. during time time 20 hours a week then when you're on holidays you work full time like you actually work full time you can work till you drop <laughs> during the holiday period so that holiday period there I was walking around the clock. I was like, <laughs> so you need to harness harness the um, holiday period and work as much as possible. Gather as much as that period, like that holiday period, jobs usually increase like the rate because a lot of people travel for holidays. So you that are still in the country, they need you. So they will increase the rates to attract more people. So look for all those jobs that are giving the juicy, like 16 pounds, 18 pounds an hour. Look for them. Try and hustle for them. Now imagine working that amount, say 12 hour shifts. Like you're going back to back, back to back. Do you know how much you'll be able to raise? Be able to offset a huge amount from that tuition, but only if it is a reasonable amount of money you need to offset. But if it is a very huge chunk then, just pray for a miracle that God is gonna come through for you. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Share your experiences, engage with me. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Subscribe, oh. subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> and to the next time you see me on your screen, stay fabulous. I love you guys.